Yo, what's up? So, my previous video, I showed how to program JD Beck style drums with the new Rhythm Generative tool in Ableton Live 12. Some people noticed in the comments that even though that I'm using an addictive drums, which is like a multi-sampled uh, uh, drum plugin, uh, my clips don't look like regular MIDI clips. They actually look like drum racks, like we have the names of the sounds. So it's kind of a trick. Let me show you how to do that. Let's check it out. Okay, uh, let's switch to Live 11. Um, so what we want to do is we want a full, I don't know if it's a bug or anything, but we want to just trick the plugin to think that we have a drum rack. So I'm going to load the drum rack. And it's kind of silly, but I'm going to load the drum rack inside the drum rack. And then I'm going to rename it Kick. I'm going to delete it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to delete the drum rack. And this naming will still remain. I'm going to copy this. That's a rim shot. Copy this. That's a snare and so on and so forth. Now, all these plugins like Addictive Drums uh, are using a general MIDI, which is just like a agreement between all the manufacturers where they should put the drums, the, which drum sound was the kick, where the snare. If you ever had those old Casio keyboards with like 500 sounds, if you go to like the 495, it's a drum kit. General MIDI, that's how they organize the sound. Now, if I move my mouse over one of the pads in the drum rack, on the bottom, right here in the command line, we can see the general MIDI, the GM suggestion. Usually, not always, but usually those drum uh, plugins uh, work with that. That's how they map their sounds. So then we're going to continue, and then we're going to group this entire drum rack, open up the chain list, and load our addictive drums or any other plugin drum plugin for that matter. So I have a free pack for you. Just go to the website and download it. Uh, it comes with this addictive drums rack. Okay, it's already, as you see, populated with all the pads. They're all empty. It's just for the name. So now if I create a clip, it's named. So it's much easier uh, to, to start uh, working with it because I know exactly where all the sounds are. So you have uh, three versions, AU, VST, and VST3. Feel free to download it. It's free. And that's it. That's the trick. I'll catch you next time.